Bonjour à tous, mon nom est Katrina et je vais remercier tous les Français qui écoutent mes vidéos. In this video, you guessed it, I'll be teaching you how to perform the CME span. So you're going to have to perform a thumb fan. But when you perform the thumb fan, you will need to keep a block of cards. This block of cards is going to be essential. So here's how you're going to actually practice this. Remove half the cards, perform the thumb fan, okay? And then you're going to perform a smear fan. I'm not gonna go in detail of what the smear fan is, but here you go. So imagine the same motion, except you're clipping this here and you're going to start spreading like this from the back, okay? So from the front, it will look like this. From the beginning, thumb fan, but you keep a block of cards and you're using your thumb really to keep that knot spread. And then you're going to clip and perform the smear fan. It is extremely easy once you know the two combined. So from the front, this is what it looks like. I kept that block of cards and I'm clipping and spreading. And as I spread, I am rotating. <laughs> I'm throwing cards on the floor. So as I spread, I'm rotating this way. So really, when you're performing this, it's a two-step. First, you do this, and then as a surprise, you're adding an extra fan. I find that this fan looks better when you see the indices of the cards, because from the back, you could see a little bit of the unevenness of the fan. So I prefer to perform it this way. Boom and then surprise, and then you spread as much as possible. And by closing this, you're just bringing everything back parallel to the ground, and you close. Very, very simple. I know you guys also wanted to know how to perform the flip back fan. I'm not going to teach you, but I will give you some tips. Tip number one is to remove one third of the cards. It's going to make it a lot easier to perform. Tip number two is to perform it from the point where it's beveled. So like this. If I would perform it from this side, I will have a hard time spreading the cards. So I choose to do it this way, and then you have to know, uh, obviously, how to do the flip back. So if you don't, I guess just start in this position. So from here, you're in this position. And you'll see that my pinky really is the only actor in this move. And you really just have to trust that as you curl up 90 degrees and rotate your hand to the right, it will catch the cards. It's a very knacky move. So when you're here, you'll see my pinky is going to curl and I'm making a fist. See here, I may have removed too many cards. I don't have a perfect spread. So maybe a little bit less than, than uh, one third. But I find it easier because see, if, if obviously if your pinky is big enough, you, you won't have any trouble clipping. Because really I'm looking at this distance. I'm like, how many cards could be clipped here? So you do the flip back. From here, I already, <laughs> I already know the moment and the position of my pinky once I release. And it's gonna be like this. And there is a good amount of cards. I don't feel too much tension. Again, this is just a tip, guys. Also, I don't know if you can see, but naturally you do have a little bevel already. They're not straight. So naturally, when you do the motion of just flipping it back, cards are in this little position. So. Do this, and you want to give it a nice wrist motion. And again, you're making a fist. The only thing clipping the cards is that pinky in this position. Like that. See, this is a pretty big bevel. And the bigger the bevel, the bigger the circle and the spread, as you can see. I hope this tip is helpful, and thank you so much for watching this video.